Yeah, well that didn't, <laughs> that didn't go down too well. I'm just top and tail in me um, runs on the Sunday um, from my previous vlog. Blog. I um, was going to try and go for a little run and just once again look at this performance thing on the Garmin. And even when I first started off, um, it started off at like two, very quickly jumped to one quickly went to zero and then on to negative one I only got probably two two and a half k's two k's in when it went to zero and then yeah negative one so I, d I basically just stopped mid run I made sure that it was close to home at the oval and um, I'm just walking back uh, so yeah I might I, I was thinking I had spin tomorrow night but I don't but I'll I think I'll just go along uh, have a good night's sleep tonight because I've got the day off tomorrow so I have a big sleep because yeah I looked at my sleep this morning and, and yeah it was six six and a half hours like yeah so normally I try to get at least seven and a half eight hours so yeah my heart rate was up got stuff all sleep so that looks like it had a bit to do with me uh, the performance thing I was getting from the Garmin and then tonight at least like another two and a half k's in before it hit negative one so that's a nice way to top it up I suppose as long as I can be trustworthy of the Garmin that it's telling me the right thing well I guess when it's saying you're going this fast you shouldn't have this heart rate so therefore you're not doing much good for your body I guess that's fairly accurate so I'll do a bit of googling tonight but I reckon um, good night's sleep. Hopefully my heart rate's down to like 57, 58. And then um, I'll go for another run tomorrow night um, instead of spin. Or even tomorrow afternoon, depending on what my reading is. And have a look at that. So that should be really interesting to see if I can head out for a, uh, you know, an hour or so tomorrow night without it going too crazy with the, the performance rating. Alright, see ya.